If you've been looking for an easy way to make money on the side that's not too time intensive, then making coloring books just might be the thing for you. And the best thing is, you can do it from your smartphone. I know that most likely if you're watching this video, you are a full grown adult and making coloring books wasn't exactly a part of your retirement plan. But trust me, by the time you finish this video, you will see how lucrative this side hustle can be. And the real best part is this can become a source of passive income for you for years to come. I'm Valerie with Finance Tea. Now let's make a coloring book from our phone. The first step is super important. We're talking about selling low content books on Amazon ADP here, okay? And in order to do this properly and compete with all the other books out there, you have to know what kind of coloring books people are actually interested in buying. Trying to sell books on Amazon without actually knowing what's selling is like driving a Segway with the blindfold on. You're crashing and burning immediately. So the tool you will need so that you're not selling blind or driving segways with a blindfold on is called BookBolt. It'll give you x-ray vision when selling low content books on Amazon ADP. The cost to join is a drop in the bucket compared to what you will earn selling books through Amazon ADP. And there is a free three day trial so you can get a feel of it without having any commitments. Now, since I'm showing you how to do all of this through your smartphone, I'm gonna go ahead and put, pull up BookBolt on my phone and show you really quick how to research coloring books, specifically to figure out what topics to choose from and what keywords to use. So when you're going through BookBolt, you wanna click on the products tab on the left side of the screen, okay? And then under category, you wanna choose coloring book because that's what we're going for. So for keyword, you wanna keep this super general. For me, I put adult in the keyword section because I wanna make adult coloring books. And as you can see, a Halloween coloring book is the number one selling book right now because Halloween is just around the corner. It's, a, it's in season, right? So this can be actually a good idea for you when you're creating these coloring books is think about maybe you can create a seasonal coloring book. You know, these are types of books that people are actually looking for because we're in the season right now. But there's also other books that don't have to do with, with Halloween. There, there's a horse book, there's a um, advanced mandalas book. I mean, there's all sorts of different ideas. Then when you scroll all the way down, okay, if you're doing this from your phone, all right, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see a list of keywords. Okay, keywords are important when doing this, when creating books for Amazon, because you want to be able to show up in search. Okay, this is all about SEO. All right, so you want to you want to use the keywords that are actually people are actually searching for and typing in the search bar. You don't want to just go in blindly and and assume what people are searching for. You want to actually have an idea. And this tool, BookBolt, tells you exactly what's being searched for and how many searches per month. Okay. So when you go into ADP, you want to make sure that you're using these keywords in your title and description, and also it'll give you an, an area to put in your keywords, but we'll go into that later. Okay. So this will give you a good idea of what's selling. And so at this point, let's go ahead and get into creating the actual coloring book. All right. So now that we have the book idea and now that we have some keywords chosen, let's go ahead and get into actually creating the coloring book. Now for this step, we will need to use an app called Canva. Okay, Canva is a free app, all right? And so go ahead and download that on your phone if you don't have it already. And we open up Canva. Now I already have a, um, a design that's been edited already that um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, go into, but when you start, what you wanna do is you wanna make your canvas size 8.5 by 11, okay? 8.5 by 11. So that's how large the, the actual canvas size needs to be. So let me go ahead and go into my design. So I chose to a minimalist coloring book, okay? And I chose this because what I did was I just sort of typed in adult coloring books in the actual Amazon website in, um, in a search and some minimalist coloring books came up so I just chose that. I don't know if I'll actually publish this or not for me, but if I were, if I were you, I would just go with what BookBolt shows you, um, one of those ideas, and go with that because those are what's actually selling right now. Um, but minimalist is probably, can probably sell as well. Um, so here here's the designs I came up with. Now let's go ahead and get into um, one of the um, pages that I'm gonna go ahead and design it with you here, okay? All right, so what you wanna do is you want to add graphics. 
you'll go in here to you what I did was basically I tap that button that plus button and then I go into elements now I already have some recently used graphics but what I was doing with this particular coloring book was I was just going into um, they have some already like pre-made designs here and um, the abstract minimalist elements since this is a minimalist coloring book I decided to go with that but you don't have to do that what you would do normally is type in backgrounds okay type in backgrounds and you'll want to choose backgrounds that can actually be colored in so you can see some here this one right here would be a good one um, but you want to change the color to black because it's white right and this will be this would be a good one okay but I'm not going to use this one now I do want to point your attention to something as you can see some of these designs require a pro license um, and so if you want to take this up a, a, a notch and do a lot more intricate designs you might want to go ahead and purchase a pro license I don't think it's too expensive but for now I'm just going to show you how it is um, on the free on the free license so these are all the designs that come up and you want to definitely choose the ones that are black and white so I'm going to go ahead and choose this one and all I do is simply take it like this Actually, I can actually go make it a little bit larger so it goes over the canvas like that okay and then boom you already have your design right here very simple very easy okay and these are some other ones that I came up with you need it I think you need about 50 pages 50 of these designs to make a coloring book and actually publish it on ADP so it's very easy though I mean like I said you're just putting designs in here that are already pre-made you don't have to worry about um, you know being a designer you don't have to be perfect you just put in whatever um, whatever's in here I just saw one that I can add to it hold on one second Backgrounds. this one right here is pretty cool one second I think I just saw it oh that's a pro okay so some of these are pro like I said some of these are gonna require you to have a pro license um, here's one right here okay different different color I would probably make this black since it matches my um, aesthetic but you can make it blue if you wanted to it's still considered a coloring book right but you know you so this is how it goes very simple very easy all these designs are already created for you okay and you can get creative if you're an artist you can do you, your own design like it's it's very easy to do that and then let's create our cover. So I already created the cover because I just kind of wanted a, an idea of what I was going to do. But basically, it's just me thinking about um, going with the whole minimalist theme. So I'm going to go back to that minimalist area that I showed you. Okay. And um, I can actually, here, I'm going to do, do this and just like double it okay and then I think I did something like this this and then what did I do okay and then if you want to create your um, shape you want to create a shape for your words that you're using you can go in here I'm looking at recently deleted uh, recently used but you can actually go to lines and shapes and it'll show up any shape that you want to use for your cover is fine go like that and then you want to add words very easy add text I chose a minimalist text because it's I'm going with a the minimalist theme and then it'll type it'll show you some different texts to use um, and then edit. it's very small as you can see hold on I can make it bigger the font size is super small all right so it's much bigger now and uh, and then you just type in your your title very easy okay there you go now I already have one created here I worked on it before so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one but very easy, very simple. Um, 
And there you go, there you have it. You, get, you have your 50 pages, your 50 different designs. The first thing you wanna do right now is to save your cover as a PDF, okay? So you wanna save it. What we wanna do next is we wanna create another page and we wanna resize it, okay? We wanna double the size because we wanna account for the back cover. What you wanna do is you wanna create a completely new design and you want to double the size of your previous design. So that will become, um, it'll be 17.36 by 11.25, okay? That'll be your new, that'll be your new, um, your new size, okay? And so what you'll want is to add your cover that you had downloaded by going to the plus sign, going to uploads and clicking upload files, okay? To upload it. You want to go ahead and resize your cover to make sure it fits the right side of the the canvas, okay? Don't click these buttons right here because this will cause you to lose your design. You want to only um, use the resize buttons that are on the corners, okay? When you're done doing that, you want to create the back cover that goes to the left side of it, okay? Now, the left side back cover can be anything. It can be blank if you want. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to just create another, you know, something to kind of like match what I currently have, um, which might be a little bit tough to do because I have to connect these lines. Let's see. I think that's good and I think that's good that's a good flow that goes together pretty well and then you're done then you want to do is you want to go ahead and save this cover to your phone okay you can actually also create a spine if you wanted to do that as well let me show you how to do that really quick I went ahead and saved mine without a spine but if you want to make a spine you can totally do that um, and I'm gonna show you by going into the shapes and they don't have an actual um, a rectangle shape, at least not that I can see. I might be blind. But you can click the square and still be able to create a rectangle with it by doing that. And going like that. Boom, there you go, you have a spine. But if you even you can even add like words to your spine if you want to add words to it, um, like maybe add, um, like I said, um, here let me click that body text. You can even write in the name of the book again. change the, the color of your font so that it can you can actually see it on your spine you could just go ahead and do it like that make sure it's centered you want to maybe make the font a little bit smaller okay and then boom you have and let's go like this. Let's do the nudge option. So we can nudge it a little bit over here. Then there you go, it's in the middle now. And then now we have a perfectly good spine for your book. Um, so this is an option that you can definitely do, but once you're done uploading or uploading this cover to your phone, you wanna go back to your earlier design with the actual book, the full book, okay? And you wanna go ahead and download the inside of the book. All right, so you wanna go back to your design and you can just easily, um, this is the design right here, okay? This is gonna be your full book. Go ahead and click that button, the arrow down and it'll upload your design, okay? So now let's go to the ADP section, the ADP part of this when you're uploading the book to Amazon. KDP, My, have I been saying ADP this whole time? 
I think I've been saying ADP this whole time. I meant KDP, Amazon KDP. I don't know why I've been saying ADP this whole time, but if I've been saying ADP, I mean KDP. Now, let's go to the Amazon KDP and um, sign in. Okay, so if you don't have an account, go ahead and, and, and create an account, okay? It's kdp.amazon.com. Create your account and sign in. I already have an account, so, because I've, I've published books before. All right, so what you want to do is want to create, uh, click create, and you're going to go ahead and click a paperback, because this is going to be a paperback book. Obviously, people have to actually color it in, you know, in real life. Type in your title. So I put the colorful minimalist for mine. Oops. I was saying ADP because I worked in employee benefits before in HR, and so I'm used to ADP, so my bad. Um, it was, it was a colorful minimalist, and then I think an adult and adult coloring book I put as my subtitle. Now, when you get to this part, the best thing to do is go back to your book bolt, figure out what um, you know key keywords that you found when you were looking for your, your coloring book, and try to pack those into your title and your subtitle. Make it make sense though. Don't spam, you know, don't spam people with it, but just like make sure that some of those keywords are in there so that people know what it is and that it can actually stand out and compete with the competition. Um, this is for SEO reasons, okay, SEO. So then you wanna go ahead and type in, you know, of course your, your name is your author, and then your description is the, the meat of your SEO, right? You wanna put in as many keywords as possible, adult coloring book, whatever other keywords that you came up with using your book bulk account, Pack those into your description as much as you possibly can. This is, this is gonna actually help you rank in search, okay, in Amazon and compete against all of those other coloring books. All right, add those keywords in there as well. I, I used to make sure that you click I own the publishing rights, okay? Um, and, then, and then you want to, of course, there's not gonna be any adult content. And then you go to save and continue. Okay, so I saved it, finally. Now, You can publish it without an ISBN. You don't really need to do that. Black and white interior is the best. Okay, just use what is in there. Um, with white paper, that's the best as far as far as coloring books is concerned. No bleed. Okay, keep the this, this all that kind of like the way that it is. And then you want to um, when you. In the uploading the manuscript portion, you want to go ahead and um, upload the innards of your book that you downloaded to your phone, upload those to the manuscript portion, and then your book cover will be uploaded as well that, they, that you downloaded yourself on your phone through Canva, okay? Then you do your book launcher preview. Sometimes you might have to do a little bit of editing to try to kind of change the, the bleeding or like the, the size of your... Um, of your spine if you created a spine but other than that when you're done you click save and continue it might take a few days for them to actually um, publish it on Amazon um, you want to also set your pricing book bolt will actually help you also figure out what pricing with you know to, to do so you look at all the books that are kind of ranking for the whatever keyword that you're going for and you want to see how much they're pricing their books and you want to go within that same range you don't want to get be too you price it too high or even too low just go with whatever is selling in that category um, and then also it has to do with how many pages you have in your book as well when you're done with that click save and continue it'll take a couple days probably to get it published officially on Amazon but when you're done you're done now think about it this way now regards to pricing and whatnot and how much you can actually make doing this go back to book bolt do what I did before at the beginning of this video type in adult for coloring in the category coloring books see how many actual um cells that these people are making okay these are estimated cells like the first one that i showed you is the, is the halloween gnomes coloring book and it's like ranking number one for adult coloring books and the estimated cells is 314 cells um and it was published on september 8th of this year 2022 so imagine it 
314 cells, right? Priced at, then this book is priced at $6.99, okay? So 314 cells, and I'm just gonna do the math really quick. 314 cells times 699 will give you $2,194 in this, in this month. Now imagine doing that for like, imagine creating 10 books, 10 of these books at that same price point and selling 300 and something copies of each of those 10 books. Multiply that $2,000 by 10 and you've got yourself $21,000 or $22,000 rounded up. This is some good money. So if you if you make this into an actual real side hustle and you're making tons of books and you're pumping them out like that, you can actually make a really decent income from this. So this is just an, an, a, you know, a really cool, easy you know, side hustle that you can do on your phone. You don't have to be a artist to do this. You don't have to be too creative to do this. It's something that anybody can do. And why not, you know, why not? Buy the BookBolt account, it's not that expensive. It's a drop in the bucket compared to how much money you can make. Find out what's ranking on there. Choose your category, choose your topic. Create the book, download Canva. And you might wanna buy a premium, a pro license so that you can actually create really good designs on it. You can do this from the comfort of your phone. So simple, so easy. Thank you for watching. If you want more content like this, definitely subscribe. I'm gonna do another video about low content books. Um, but this is dealing with puzzles, creating crossword puzzles, a completely different category. But if you like this content, subscribe to join the tea party. And until next time, y'all, thank you for watching. Bye.